We're here in the hybrid doghouse, and we've got vacancy going on. Suslan looking out his nice new window. I think he's enjoying that. He's getting to stand on the tires in here. So that's something fun for him. Lazaron is having a good time. We've got a blanket laid down with some hay underneath. And the dogs are, I think, enjoying it in here. They're still a little confused. They're still thinking about stuff outside. And I think it's going to take them a, a couple days, maybe a couple weeks, to kind of figure out what's going on in here. But... I think they'll enjoy this a whole lot, especially through the winter. I think Suslan is already just going to enjoy looking out the window at everything, staring at his beautiful view and watching over his chickens outside. Is that what you're looking at there, dude? <laughs> looking at those chickens? I think he is. He's watching over the chickens. But, you know, honestly, I'm in here and it's pretty comfy. I mean... We've got, let me go to the outside here. I've got the door closed because, yep, the dogs are supposed to stay in here. Lazaron's having a good time laying down. I'm going to walk out quick and we can get a good outside view. Nine, stay. Blybin. Our dogs, we trained our dogs uh, with German, uh, for German, you know, with how we talk to them, so... They are German dogs. <laughs> Not really, but uh, all our commands for them are in German. So we've been teaching them and it kind of helps us a little bit. So, but here we are on the outside and uh, yeah, Suslan taking advantage of the window again. They're still kind of figuring out the doorway. I kind of put, uh, that's like a placemat. That one is a little stiff, I think. Yeah, because it's not as floppy. They kind of, you know, are trying to crawl through it a little bit. <laughs> Come on, Lazaron. Yeah, yep, a little confused. They'll, they'll get it, I think, after a couple days. Yep, good job. Good. So I, I might have to fix that. Maybe I'll find a different rubber mat or something like that. That's, I think, <laughs> that one's a little stiff. So it'll do for now. Uh, in keeping things out so I got all of this area fenced off now so the dogs are enclosed in so I have basically the gate going to the edge of the window and I went with the cattle paneling because I was gonna go with uh, uh, some some of the uh, the pallets there if I can get my words together here but yeah I, I was thinking about the pallets but then I was like well that doesn't make sense because then it'll start blocking the window there this time basically so and we've got the sun they, they're directly in the sun we've also got some nature maybe like 25 yards away right there just away, hanging out with the goats i think they just see the goats so they don't really mind they've been coming around the last week so they kind of just hang out and they don't mind me because and i don't really chase after them or anything so i think that's a mom and two babies that she's got there they've been coming around the last i think all summer almost but back to the <laughs> the hybrid ship so yeah see you, you see suslan's still a little custom to his his house still lazaron still figuring things out they do like that they can get to the all the more grass that's over here so it's a bit of an extension to their area so there's still a bit of little bit of tidying up to do I still have some things to do with the door as well for keeping the drafts out I'm gonna probably put a piece of insulation on the inside or the outside here so this is what we've got for the dogs so far I do need to get more tin for the roof and for the back berm here so that we can be catching water and catching any snow throughout the winter for the dogs so then They'll have their own supply come next year. And I've got kind of some uh, <laughs> old pieces, recycled things. It's an old hood and then some rigid insulation. I was gonna kind of just build up some just random stuff so I can keep berming it up right here basically. Um, then I will be cleaning up a lot of this barbed wire and some of this chicken wire that's going on in here. And then, yeah, we're just gonna tidy up their area. I'm gonna m probably move their dog houses out of the way and get everything rearranged. But 
we basically are just about finished. I need to yep, finish the roofing, like I said, and do a little bit more back bearing. I think we're gonna do is kind of the last bit of tidying up as well on the outside. I did some spray foaming on the inside. I think I talked about that earlier. So this is where we are. The dogs are enjoying themselves on this nice sunny day. Suslan's watching over the ducks. Lazaron is being himself. <laughs> so, yep, you can see I got the little piece of Trex there that's just a little flap to open the hinge. And then we'll be able to walk in. And then uh, just, you know, if Suslan drags his bowl in or anything like that, dogs like to do that. So, but honestly, for myself, I mean, I if it wasn't, you know, if the dogs weren't all in here and I'd get covered in fur. I mean, this isn't a too bad of a spot. I mean, you could camp in here overnight, single person. It's a nice little comfy little somewhat kind of an earthship. So I'll keep it short with this because I'm going to make some more videos here in the next coming days of some of the other projects that we've got going on up here on the farm. You know, one project at a time as well as just living life daily but this is the project that i got done and i think the the dogs will hopefully enjoy it i think they will i think it's pretty comfy in there so i'm gonna lock up i'll have to come back out later just to make sure the dogs know where to go for the nighttime. It's actually going to be pretty warm for the next couple days, or for the next couple nights, so it's not too bad nighttime temperature. They don't really mind. So, keep it at that. We've got more videos, and we've got more projects to do on the farm, so stay tuned. Subscribe and like, please.